This video displays microdissection of retina and retina with retinal pigment epithelium, or RPE, attached from zebrafish embryos at 1-3 to three days post-fertilization. All procedures can be done with fine forceps and general laboratory supplies under standard stereo microscopes. For retinal dissection, the single layer RPE is removed and peeled off by brushing action and adherence of the RPE to the surface of the culture plate. For RPE-attached retinal dissection, the adhesive properties of the culture plate are removed by embryonic crush and washing prior to the dissection to preserve the RPE intact. Careful lifting of this tissue then efficiently separates the choroid and sclera from the RPE-attached retina, followed by lens removal using a chemically etched tungsten needle. This dissection method can obtain intact retina tissues and has been successfully utilized to study tissue-specific RNA expression profiles of zebrafish retina and retinal pigment epithelium. Hi, I'm Li Yun Zhang from the laboratory of Professor Yu Fei Liang in the Department of Biological Sciences at Purdue University. Today, we'll show you how to dissect zebrafish embryonic eye tissues. We use this procedure in our laboratory to study the gene network regulating eye development. So, let's get started. Prior to microdissection, prepare the following solutions, E3 medium, filter sterilized ringer solution, and 5 normal sodium hydroxide. Next, chemically etch tungsten needles. Set a small beaker in a petri dish by clay to facilitate handling of the beaker and prevent spillage of sodium hydroxide. Attach a standard paper clip to the side.